Hi everyone, my name is Hee Yeon Kim, and I'm delighted to introduce the technology about the newest video codec HEVC. If you are interested in the video codec, I think you, you might have heard the HEVC as a successor of the conventional video codec H.264 AVC. Moreover, in terms of video compression, I think you also have heard the surprising performance of HEVC in comparison of all other conventional video codecs. Yes, it is right. High efficiency video coding, the next generation video coding standard has been developing by the joint collaborative team on video coding. HEVC can provide better coding efficiency than the current state of the art video coding standard. L3H EVC Bitstream Analyzer is a powerful analyzer for HEVC encoded stream and provides lots of unique features like a user-friendly designed search. Let me show the features one by one. This is the first screen when loading a HEVC file. The decoded frame is shown in the center and the various information is shown in the left and right windows. Let's fit the image into the window. And you can choose to display the images after in-loop filtering or before in-loop filtering. You also can check the PU and TU partitioning. To see the mode distri distribution on the overlaid image, you can control the mode control color transparency. You can move to the frame by selecting the thumbnail image. And here are header information such as SPS, PPS, APS showing sequence and frame level information. In the sequence info tab, the information at the sequence level is provided such as PN, PSNR of the sequence at the each, in, each in loop filtered step and some statistics of CU, PU, and TU. In the frame info tab, the information at the frame level is provided such as reference POC number, slice header information, and the decoding information of CU, PU, and TU in a LCU. And also PSNR and statistics are provided at the frame level. In the SPS, PPS, APS tab, the syntaxes of SPS, PPS, APS are showing. And in this graph, PSNR for each color component Y, U, and V is showing. And in this graph, the number of bits per, per frame is showing. This graph shows the CU mode statistics at the sequence and fra frame level. This player plays the decoded video and can selectively play the color component to play. And this supports the random access function. By clicking a CU, the information tab in the right is updated with the selected CU. The detailed information for the CU, PU, and PU are showing in the just screen order. If you uh, click the Show TU Residual button, the TU Residual is showing the detailed information in a full, full and full box unit is showing with checking the Expand Grid box. By checking Show Vector button, the motion vectors in, ca in the case of the interprediction mode and the prediction Directions in the case of the intra prediction mode are showing using the ar arrows. The magnitude can be scaled. There is a search window in the right. You can input the search option, and the result is highlighted in the decoded image. For example, I searched 32 and 32 size CU, and the result is showing. I have introduced the L3HEVC Bitstream Analyzer. As you have seen, our analyzer presents a, uh, present a very detailed encoding information such as encoding unit size, prediction unit shape, transfer unit depths, motion vectors, and intra-prediction modes. And it provides a search tool user-friendly design. Before we wrap up my talk, 
If you are interested or have any question, please contact our colleague by email shown with the below subtitle. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your watching. Have a good day.